Uh, good afternoon. Here we are discussing about management practice in pig and rabbit. In our last lesson, we discussed about the management practice in cattle, where we look at different breeds of cattle that we have and also the management practice that we can carry out in cattle. And we like management practice like the honing, like the budding, uh, management practice like uh, the warming, castration, identification, and so on and so forth. Here today we want to discuss about pig and also rabbit. And these are the uh, purpose of this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to mention the breeds of pig that we have and also explain the management practice on that pig. And also they should be able to identify different breeds of rabbit. Likewise also to uh, describe the management practice that we carry out in rabbit production. We are starting from pig. What do you understand by pig? When we are talking about pig, pig are the non-ruminant animals that, are, that have only just one stomach chamber. They are non-ruminant animals, which means that they don't shriek cut. They have just only one stomach chamber. Although pig can feed on grasses and legumes due to the uh, aid of cacum in their alimentary canal. And when we are talking about pig, pig is one of the polyvic animals that has animals that can give birth to many children at a time. Pig can give back to a minimum of four uh, offspring at a time, or maximum of 15, even 17, 18 sometimes. And they mature within a short period of time, eight to nine months after their birth. They can start also giving birth to the young ones. They have short gestation period, which is 114 days, which means three months, three weeks, and three days. They are very good, and they can easily convert their feed into what? Into meat. And when we are talking about uh, this diagram of pig, if you have not seen it before, we have different breeds of pig. And uh, as we have different breeds of pig, these are the breeds. We have land race, we have drug jets, we have large white, we have large black, Hampshire white, Chester white, we have uh, Sadu, uh, West Sadu back, Poland China back chair, West African drug, West uh, Sadu back. Tamworth and Saddlebag. With these are the what these are the breeds of pig that we can hear. And the with some of these breeds are available here in our country. And we are talking about the system of rearing pig. We have three systems, three major systems of rearing pig. Uh, we can rear pig under extensive system, semi-intensive system, and intensive system. When we are talking about extensive system, the sensitive system of rearing pig is when you allow the pig to roam about, to move from one place to another in the name of searching for food. They, they scavenge from the world, from the dungeon, from one street to another and eat the leftover food they found on the ground. And they do not attract any attention in terms of housing, feeding and health care. The, 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 the system affects them whereby they grow very, their growth is very slow, is very, very slow because there is no special house for them, no special feed for them. It is not compulsory that should give them medication except they are sick. As they are exposed to ash water and normal dirty and indiscriminate meeting occur among them. You can see this animal, the pigs, they move from work from one place to another. That is under extensive, semi-intensive. Yeah, the pigs are partially indoor and partially outdoor. They move within the, I mean, the, within a fence compound. They are not allowed to move out. The pig are without, uh, with or without a, the female. They move within the school. I mean, within the uh, fence of the world of the compound. They don't go out. They don't move from one street to another. And just a little or less labor are required, just to be monitoring them that they move in and they move out at the right time and less feed is given to them uh, when they are uh, releasing in the morning before they move out and they start grazing from work on uh, feed dropping on the floor in their surrounding and the last uh, we can see under semi-intensive little feed for, for the animal little medication provided labor if effort is minimized partially indoor and partially outdoor pig graze with a fence compound and the third one is intensive system intensive system of pig are completely raised in a house concrete floor they are indoor 
they don't go out feed water medication are provided for the animal in order to what to have good and I mean good quality and quantity of meat when you are to sell the meat and also at this system of uh, running of pig good sanitation is practiced you practice good sanitation to make sure the animal they are in good condition to make sure that they are living well you give them vaccination to prevent them from any disease outbreak feed the, the, the eye leaf convert their feed to world to, to to efficiency of growth and also you see them they are doing where they produce very well uh, but it's capital extensive in the building of their house you need to make it concrete uh, concrete and also flood the floor you you cement the floor you produce iron gates so that you prevent them from being inside all the time and uh, the characteristics of this uh, intensive system is that poor proper feeding is taking place uh, neat and well constructed house must be provided proper medication and fascination should be given to them is highly capital extensive labor is high and production outcome is also high and when we are talking about the management practice that we carry out in pig number one is housing we have feeding we have good hygiene castration identification fascination and medication the warming and these are the explanation of this uh, management practice one after the other in pig a pig house must be well constructed as i said well gate ventilated and there are, you have different units in their house we have a place where we call faro pen where they give birth to when they want to give birth we have little pen for the young ones we have mating pen where do you take them to to mate we have grower pen those ones that are growing where you can put them and you have sick bay or isolation pair where you can put those ones that are sick feed Feeding should be given to them at the appropriate time. They are very voracious, means that they eat all the time. They eat almost all the time. Anytime you take food to the pig, they are ready to consume it. They feed on tuba like cassava, yam, cocoa yam, maize, sorghum, granite cake, pumpkin cake, that is PKC, and the household leftover. That is what you remain, what you, uh, you, you left from your feed after finish eating at home, you can give it to them. And occasionally, as I've said, they feed on grasses and legumes, they feed on vegetables because of their cacum in their alimentary canal. We have different stages of pig and they feed on different types of feed, which is taking us to, I mean, showing us uh, this the feed that we can give to them. We can give them uh, maybe uh, balance ration and uh, production ration or maintenance ration. Now, another practice is hygiene, good hygiene. You make sure that you clean the house of your pen regularly. You change their wallow, that is the water where they swim in, if you construct it for them. And a clean trough, that is their feeding and eating trough, must be well cleaned regularly. You change their bedding material, you wash the house if, you are, if there is no bedding material there. If there is bedding material, you change the bedding material, which can be a detached leaf, a white dry grasses and legumes that to place in their house for them to lie down. You change it regularly. They warm the animal. You deworm the animal, uh, the animal at regular interval, and you also disinfect the pen and carry out dipping. That is dipping the animal inside a solution, a chemical solution to kill the ectoparasite. Another management practice is castration. Castration is the removal of testes of a male pig animal to prevent indiscrimination of mating and also to fatten up the world, the pig. You don't want the animal to be just be giving birth any hour or to be having mating any hour. You castrate the male animal. You castrate them when they are still young, when they are at the age of one year. Identification. Identification is another management practice that we carry out in pig. And the common identification that we carry out in pig is the notching, the ear notching. That is, you create, you cut a V shape at their ear. So for easy identification and this share this shape it gives them number i've explained this during identification uh, method in farm animal and another management practice okay now we are looking into rabbit management rabbit is another monogastric animal is another non-ruminant animal that have just only one stomach chamber just like a uh, pig also uh, the meat of uh, 
uh, rabbit is very nutritious and low in cholesterol. That is, doesn't have fat. That is why rabbit is referred to as white meat animal. They produce white meat. They don't have much fat. White, I mean, uh, much fat. That is cholesterol. And rabbit can also is a one of the prolific animal. They also give back to many children at a time. You can see the diagram, the image of rabbit. If you have not seen it before, this is how the rabbit look like. And we also have different breeds of rabbit. We have California white, California red, Flemish giant, chinchilla, New Zealand, New Zealand white, New Zealand red, angora, and blue beaverine. We have uh, the management practice in pig production. In just, I mean, sorry, in rabbit production, it's just like that of pig production. We have housing, feeding, and good sanitation. Housing is the, the, the house where the rabbits are kept are called arches and is made up of wood or uh, net with avestors and they are, construct, they, they are constructed in single unit or a double unit. The floor space is covered with wire mesh to allow the feces to drop and the water to drop or leftover food to drop. The cage should be one meter from high from the ground so to prevent uh, the uh, predator like mice or rats to what to climb it and uh, next box should be provided in for the uh, for the uh, parturition of the younger ones where the woman or the doe can enter and work and give birth. Feeding is another uh, management practice we carry out in pig and rabbit. Feeding. Feeding is very very important. Uh, feeding is very very important. In uh, you give them vegetable, sweet potato leaves, as well as Africana, Stylotans, you can see, Centrosima, Tridas. These are the type of grasses and green leaves or vegetable that you can give to your uh, to your rabbit. Uh, adult buck and doe should be given uh, a, a good match, and pregnant doe also should be given a feed match, like also winner, uh, winner of, uh, animal, that is the little one that are just winning from their, their mother. Good management practice, good hygiene is also required. That is, you make sure you sweep their leftover, the remaining food the next morning. Make sure you sweep away their feces or urine. You feed them, you wash their water and throw, uh, uh, feeding and water throw regularly. And you disinfect the house interval. You deworm them. You cut bushes around the ashes to prevent the penetration or attack of snake. Isolate a sick animal and bury any born or dead animal. Winnie is the separation. It's another management practice carried out in rabbit. Winnie is the separation of the young one from the world, from the mother, the doe, after one month of giving birth to them. And at this stage, they are called warren. And uh, all these are what they are the management practice that we carry out in, uh, in rabbit. Now I want you to practice this exercise as class work and I want you to submit to my WhatsApp by typing it on MS Word. Make sure you do that. It attracts mark. Mention five breeds of pig.